you guys good morning what is up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new Jillian here so today obviously you know the deal we're about to go thrifting but this thrift trip actually isn't even for me this is for my mom she has been asking me for the like last couple weeks to go thrifting with her and every time that I have gone it has not worked out for her to go with me so today I was like okay I'm gonna set aside today. I'm gonna take you thrifting. I actually went thrifting on Friday and I filmed it for TikTok and only because I did not actually intend to like thrift. I was getting my car washed and I was like, okay, let me just walk over here to the thrift store while my car is getting washed because it's gonna take a while. And I just, it, it was giving <laughs> and so, I had to I had to tell somebody in the moment and I was showing everything that I had gotten so far and kind of just like asking what I should get it was like pretty real time and so I got most of what I showed and put back maybe like four things but with that being said it's a pretty large thrift haul so I'm hoping that at the end of this video I can go back home and show you guys everything that I got and maybe style up a couple pieces so that's kind of the plan loosely but yeah that's that's what we're gonna do so I, I don't even know why I'm setting myself up but let me just set myself up because normally if if I break my word it's because it's really good but I'm gonna say I don't really think I'm gonna get anything th from the thrift store I'll show you guys if I see any cool things but I don't think I'm gonna get anything because I already have a pretty large thrift haul so and I just cleaned out my closet so I'm not trying to put back the same amount of things that I cleaned out. So that's that's kind of like where we're at. I also feel like I want to stop and get some coffee because I forgot to make some this morning before I left. And I have not had coffee yet. And I don't, I, I guess I'll stop, maybe I'll stop at Pete's Coffee and Tea or something. Because I actually have not been drinking Starbucks. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's just something about, I feel like they put... A lot of unnecessary things in their coffee drinks and although delicious um, I'm trying to just minimize how much I actually drink Starbucks and I'm talking like yeah I'm I used to drink Starbucks twice a day so I understand the addiction but I actually have not had Starbucks probably like coffee probably two months now I would say and honestly I like my hot coffee at home better Starbucks is really good for iced coffees but for hot coffee I like mine way better so it's not a huge sacrifice but um, yeah so that's that's kind of like what I think we're gonna do after I pick her up we're gonna I'm gonna go get some coffee um, but yeah so like I did want to talk to you guys about something because I if you're on TikTok or um, a certain part of Instagram there is this this page called the Birkin Slayer and basically the first person or one of the first people that this person came after was another larger social media influencer called I want to say Birkin Trash and basically the whole point of this page and it's anonymous nobody knows who is doing the page but the whole point was to point out these big blue check um, influencers and, and celebrities and things like that that are carrying fake Birkins. And it's just wild to me because a lot of people have been blasted. And I'm sorry, if I was an influencer and I was carrying a fake Birkin, like, I feel like knowing this guy's out here or this girl's out here, I wouldn't even be flaunting my stuff on social media. That being said, I also would not have a fake Birkin. So there's that. But the thing about it is, and what's come to, like what came to my mind when I started hearing about this story, is the amount of people who look at these influencers. Because I mean, like one of these influencers actually had a brand deal with Fashion File from carrying fake bags. So it's like really the epitome of fake it till you make it. But so many people look at these influencers and like kill themselves trying to get these things and they have this idea 
that in order to look important or be successful, I need to have this thing because that's what I'm saying. All along, the things that you're seeing from these people who you think are somebody are fake. And that just goes to show, like, when it just comes to luxury items, really expensive items, because I don't even want to just say designer. I just want to blanket it for generally expensive things altogether. Do not feel like you have to buy these things in order to be important, look important, feel important, because baby, you are already important. You are already important. You don't need these things to be, feel, look, or be perceived as important. Because even the people who you think have these things don't even legitimately have these things. It's all fake. It's a facade. So, yeah, like, that's why when it comes to designer things, like, I love me a designer thing because, you know, of the creativity. But that's why I like it. The creativity, the ingenuity, how different it is, the, like, textiles, the material, everything. Like, that's what I look for, the creativity, the art. Um buy the designer things that are truly special to you the things that you look at and they make your breath catch because they're just so unique and so amazing things that you know you're gonna wear to death like my Reeboks my Margiela Reeboks with the split toe I have them in black and white I wear those so much that it's now to the point where I have to consciously make a decision not to wear them because a they're so comfortable although i know they probably don't look good ah, sorry you know it's a little bit of a bumpy road um and b for me because the design is so unique and it's different and it's not really like what you're seeing every day other people wear i just feel like it elevates every single outfit that i put them with it just makes it unique and special so worth the money 100% but I'm not buying them because I saw somebody else with them and I feel like I need them in order to feel important or to feel like I'm doing something like no mm -mm. that's why I started my thrift channel because you do not need to spend so much money to look amazing so yeah I just wanted to say that I felt like I felt like I should say that because I know even if I tell you guys this all the time I don't even know if somebody knew could be watching my videos who have never watched my videos before but I just feel like it's important for you to know to not worry about having these material things that you see people with in order to feel a certain way because that's not where that feeling comes from and really I think a lot of people are being blasted a lot of things are coming to light and you're really starting to see that this world that people so desperately want to be a part of is just it's like literally fake it's fake and the world that you're taking for granted, the world that you're living in is probably 10 times better than the misery they're living in trying to maintain this facade. So yeah, there's there's that. But yeah, I'm about to be to my mother's house uh, to pick her up and I'm going to get some coffee. We are going to take her to the thrift store and I'm gonna try not to buy anything because I don't need anything unless it's really amazing. And um, I'm going to try to show you guys this thrift haul of things that I got. But if you want a little um, sneak peek of things like this before I show it, I definitely uploaded videos to YouTube Shorts. I definitely had the thrift haul or the thrift with me is on TikTok. It, it was too long for me to put on YouTube Shorts. So yeah, follow me on those platforms and I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so just a little context on why I did or did not get certain things. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a little bit of a voiceover. So the first two sweaters, I definitely snagged. I put them in my cart to try them on just to kind of see if I would love the fit. And then when I came across this, this is literally a dream jacket of mine, but this was not my size. It was an extra small, but I do think that the price was extremely fair. There were other things like this and then the next Zara like suede jacket, which I thought they were both really cool pieces. But the first one I wouldn't reach for and this one was a little bit too small. So went ahead and had to pass on that. Now this mixed media jacket is something I totally would have picked up a few years ago. But after several closet clear outs, I realized this is the type of thing that I never reach for. And eventually I get rid of it. So yeah, I had to pass on that as well. Now I came across this entire 
rack of dresses and this reminded me of the time i came across a whole entire rack of carolina herrera runway collection quality of this brand is just out of this world everything felt heavy well made the design elements the details the quality just next level i went online to see what this brand was going for and on the website the dresses like this especially varied anywhere between 600 and a thousand dollars so for the most um that these dresses were priced at to be like 39.99 i thought that was extremely fair and the quality again out of this world so if you're lucky enough to go to hope of the valley and snag any of these dresses kudos to you because the majority of the sizes were extra small and small so i didn't really have um, a lot that i could try there was one dress in a in a large that i ended up trying on which you'll see later so yeah this particular cardigan i did consider because i do like the print and the colors but i just knew i had other cardigans i would reach for more than that one so i did pass however this one was next to it and it did have a matching skirt next to it and i was just thinking about the ways that i could alter this to make it work for me so i did snag this i'll show you what i mean a little bit later as far as wool sweaters, this was a great quality oatmeal, like very versatile wool sweater, but I just knew living in Southern California, I was not gonna reach for it. So tried on this vest and passed on it because again, I knew I wasn't gonna reach for it. The silk vest, however, is something that I was so tempted and literally passed on it at the register because I just knew I wasn't going to give it the wear. This, however, was amazing. The collar actually snaps off, so I thought it was amazing. This is that dress from that brand, but it just wasn't screaming out to me to get it, so I went ahead and put it back. And then for this set, this is how I would have had it altered, but I just knew, ultimately, I wouldn't reach for it enough to make the alterations and the cost worth it. Obviously, we are back home. You know, we were supposed to be thrifting a lot longer than we actually were, but I took my mom to Nordstrom Rack to get some shoes she said she saw there that she wanted. And what was supposed to be like 15 minutes in and out turned into like an hour and a half or two. So we actually didn't get to Hope of the Valley until a lot later. I did make a purchase at Nordstrom Rack and I'm gonna get them and show you guys what I got. Okay, so I have them right here. And by the way, you guys, this is probably one of the heftier hauls that I've done in a long time. But bear in mind, this is like three different thrift trips. I just hadn't had a chance to like really show you guys everything yet. So anyways, in Nordstrom Rack, I spotted these and I just could not pass them up. My mom even told me they looked like they were already mine. Like I had picked them to wear with my outfit today. So it is these glasses right here and they are Celine I love these so much and I'm sorry you can see my ring light but they are red and I just feel like with the color of my hair right now they just go so well so I had to get them and they were pretty decent price considering how much these actually go for I think I paid like 150 for these 149.97 to be exact and i love those and then these are some more fendi sunglasses these were 119.97 they saw the tag on them and they are these right here i don't know if you guys can see they have the like fendi zuka print all over them and i just thought these were so cute and they just go with my face shape so well i am in love with these i actually wore the celine ones today because they just matched my outfit so well but i cannot wait to wear these oh, love them so much so those are the two things that i got from nordstrom rack that i really should not have gotten from nordstrom rack but you know that's just what happens i shouldn't have let my mom lead me into temptation so the next few things that i'm gonna show you what do i want to show you first you know what I'm gonna show you guys the jewelry haul first. If you follow me on TikTok, you've already seen it. And if you keep up with my YouTube shorts, you've already seen it, but I'm just run through them really quickly because some of these things I got from the antique mall, some from Hope of the Valley. Um, and actually I'm gonna start with the first accessory, which is this Judith Lieber um, lizard clutch. It does have tiger eye, and I wanna say that looks like jade, but it's like an accordion style, um, 
clutch it like extends quite a bit and I have the chain folded see what I didn't realize when I got this is it had two little hooks right here where you could put a chain because it was just sold as the clutch but when I got it home and I noticed it I grabbed one of my extra gold chains and I'm like you know what that is really cute I could wear this as a little shoulder bag you know to add a little something something to an outfit so really like that I thought that was great and then now onto the jewelry if you guys would have seen I got this bangle right here the retail of this is 120 and I love this I really think that bangles are making a comeback just cuff bracelets in general and I just I've always loved a cuff so I love that and then this I am going to show you in conjunction with these things because these all came from Hope of the Valley and I've really been into pearl necklaces lately so I just feel like these would match if I'm wearing a, a chunk of like pearl necklaces but these are I don't know if you can see like a uh, pearlized what is this alabaster is that what that's called and then I also have these right here with the silver detailing but they're also like that alabaster and I just really love these and then I saw this bangle right here which is the same let me see if you can kind of see kind of like alabaster as well and I have some other bracelets with this on it so I just figured these would look really good stacked together so all of these kind of match and this again matches the whole like pearl theme if i'm deciding to do some pearl jewelry the next piece i got is that brand that um i've gotten before 1928 but i got this from the antique mall and i just love the way that this looks i love an antique or vintage style of jewelry i actually like true antique or vintage jewelry but this will do i think it's super cute and i'm definitely going to be stacking it with some of my other silver pieces but i do love this so much i think it's so cute and it was not bad price wise at all i don't remember how much i paid for it but it wasn't bad and then i found this two-tone beauty and it was like so affordable i had to get it because i love wearing silver and gold together and it is this right here and I just absolutely love it. It's so much detail on it. It even has like a leaf detail back here, but love this. I think this will look really nice stacked. It'll even look really nice stacked with this bracelet right here. And then I got this ring. It kind of reminded me of David uh, Yerman. And this is the ring right here. It's two-tone silver and gold. And I just love this so much. And so I had to get that, it's definitely matching the theme. This is another bracelet, which is so wild because I was thinking to myself that I wanted to thrift the bigger version of this, but I just knew it would be like a long shot. So when I came across this and I saw it in the case at the antique mall, I was like, there's no way that's actually a liquid metal bracelet, but it is, this is the brand liquid metal. And it, all of them typically have this SL on the button, but it's, so unique you just snap it together and this is how it goes and i just love this for stacking it's a nice unique piece and these are really expensive because i used to work in a store that sells these and i just recently looked online and even the thinner ones like this are still like 120 dollars. and i got this from the antique mall for nine so fantastic and then you guys know i've been on the hunt for these types of pins and so when I found this one at the antique mall, I had to snag it. I'm still collecting because I have like some ideas for how I want to style and use these. So yeah, that is all of the um, jewelry, accessories and things. I'm gonna show you a pair of shoes and then we're gonna get into the clothes. All right, so for the shoes, I had to show you these. These are a recent purchase from The Real Real. These are uh, by the brand Christopher Kane and they are these like um pony hair heels and they're super fuzzy and furry which is why i absolutely love them i feel like wearing some baggy jeans and using this to kind of cuff the jeans and make it like a balloon effect will look so cool and just look at them their statement in and of itself so i feel like these are the type of um shoes to kind of just like really take your outfit to the next level a hundred percent so yeah these are the shoes. So the day that I went to the antique, sorry, I have to make sure. Okay, 
So the, the day that I went to the antique mall, I also went to, um, like I said, Hope of the Valley. Got some jewelry there, but I also got some clothing items there that I did not put in the video. So I'm going to show you those items. The first one is this. And this actually had a matching pair of shorts, but they just were not my size. And I didn't want to like sell them or anything like that because it just wouldn't even make sense to have them without the top. So I just kind of like passed it on. But this is the top. It's like a patchwork short halter top, which I'm going to show you right here how it looks. But in my mind, I just had it that I was gonna style this over like a button up or with high waist jeans in the summer. And in the try on, I have it on with like my bralette so it's not really doing it justice. But I just kinda wanted to show you guys what it looked like on. I thought the patchwork and everything was amazing. The materials that it's made with are really, really good. And some pieces are even made with silk. I can tell because I can, you guys know, I know me some silk so I could feel it on this item. So. Bought the whole set for $10.99, really knowing that I only wanted the top. But these kind of tops are harder to find, so to me, it was worth it. Another pair of pants that I got, which I styled with the top, is these right here. And they're like a pinstripe trouser. And this particular day, I was on the hunt for unique colored trousers and, you know, things that were not jeans. Because I'm like really trying to not wear jeans all the time and the thing that I like about these I'm buttoning up so you can see they have these buttons on the front and these are for like the suspenders if you have them the ones that hook up that way but I also love the fact that they have the buttons and this like little pull on the back these are definitely more of a baggy fit on me which I don't mind because I've been really into the lower rise baggy fit so these are perfect for that they look so cute on and then the last piece of clothing i got from hope of the valley are these overalls right here and i like styling these with it down because i kind of wear it so that this bottom part looks like a skirt over jeans it's super cute and has more of a mid to low rise fit so with a bodysuit or like a really tight like shirt tucked in and just like a crop jacket heels I just feel like it's gonna look amazing. I tried it on both ways for you. In the try on clips, you could see. I'm just obsessed with the wash and the fit and they do look a little bit different, a little bit more unique, so love that. And then for this particular thrift trip in the antique mall, not only did I get jewelry, but I got this outfit. And when I tell you, I am obsessed. I am obsessed with this outfit. I cannot wait for spring summer to hit because your girl is wearing it. I just asked my husband if he would mind me wearing it like I styled it in the try on. He said absolutely not. But for me, I probably will go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> but probably only if I am like at the beach or something. It's definitely more of something I could get away with at the beach. I don't see myself feeling okay wearing it this way around town to go to the mall or the grocery store or to eat or whatever i just i don't see it this is more like i'm going down to venice or uh, malibu or santa monica or whatever and i want to wear something that's when i would wear something like this but it is this beaded mesh uh skirt set i'm going to show you the top in a minute but you can kind of see it's like truly mesh and the thing I love about this and that caught my eye in the antique mall was the beading and the detail right here. And then on the top, it has the same beaded detail. This is the top right here. And together, oh my gosh, it just looks so cute. Um, I could definitely see myself wearing the top with a little bralette around town and kind of just like letting it, you know, go that way. But as far as like, you know, the skirt with it, no, <laughs> absolutely not. I, I'm not around town, but together they just look so cute. I have on um, like black, black full bottom panties and a black like full bralette that are all, you know, they're the same material. So it kind of looks intentional, but kind of like reminds me of what if I got like a bathing suit or something like that to go under it, that's what it would look like. So. It's super cute, I'm obsessed. And the set from the antique mall was $30. And to be quite honest, I feel like it is vintage. It didn't have a tag in it, I don't think. Let me see. Yeah, it didn't have a tag in it, but it just, it feels 
like it feels very much vintage the the way that it's constructed it feels very much vintage so i don't know but obsessed absolutely obsessed with it okay so um when i was going to get my car washed and i went in and like happened upon some things i came across these items and i couldn't help it i just cleaned out my closet so i felt like i can kind of justify these and the items that i picked up are the kind of items that i wear all the time like over and over and over again so i kind of needed some more items kind of like this so i just, i'm making excuses right now let me just show you so i first saw these and this literally fit the bill for what I was looking for. Bright colored trousers that had like a print to it. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a thrift video where I came out with everything but what I was looking for, where I told you guys I was looking for some like plaid colorful trousers and here they are. I actually ended up finding some and they fit amazing. I would wear these again, like with a bodysuit. They're high waist, so I could wear it with a crop top. I could style it with heels or sneakers. Just so many ways. And I love the color green. So this is going to be great for spring and summer. And then after I spotted those, I was in that section. I came across this cream linen, new with tags, <laughs> like still has the tags on it right here. Michael Kors linen top. It is a extra large, so it's that perfect oversized fit. And I do have these in white, um, but the reason I picked this one up is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's more of like a cream kind of shade. And I don't really have one that's in a like a creamy color. So, or at least I don't think, but I love this and I knew I would wear it in the summer like so much. I do have a button up from H&M that's more sheer in this color, but nothing that's linen. And the sheer one is a little bit more delicate because it does snag, so yeah i had to grab and pick up this one and then in that same section i came across this bill blast one and this looks more like a green denim and it's so like thick and sturdy it actually feels like a thick starched pair of denim like that's how insane the condition is it feels brand new and i know that i could probably soften it up by washing it which you know we'll see but I got this because I wanted to style it up as like a button up dress. I have some boots that I ordered recently and I just feel like those boots are going to go really well with this. And speaking of which, I'm going to come back to this later because I have like styling ideas I'm going to show you guys, but or I'm not going to try it on, but I will tell you my idea, the vision. And then when I was thinking I was like about to leave, I was at the register, a whole new rack came out and all of these things were on this rack. And I was like trying so hard, like I, I was trying so hard not to just like get everything. One of the things that I came across is this pure white nike hoodie it was only 7.99 and it's like impeccable it looks brand new no spots no stains it barely looks like it was worn and i have been needing like another like white hoodie i have actually been needing just hoodies in general and i have been really wanting some zip up hoodies because although i like my pullovers sometimes i want to zip a hoodie to layer under something without it necessarily being a pullover so when i saw this one right here which is in like this olive green and it has like a white nike on it i had to get it because i was like i've been looking for some zip up um hoodies like this and i want to say this one was the same price as this one which is 7.99 so snagged that thought it was amazing i also came across this right here which is in all saints like bleached hoodie and i thought this was really cute too because again these are the kind of things that i wear through the week a lot especially when i'm working from home and i believe i have some gray sweatpants from h&m that'll match that perfectly so when i saw that i had to get it and then on that same rack there was a bunch of nike shirts but the ones that i ended up getting are these two, or is this one if you want to see all of the selection that video is on TikTok. If you don't have a TikTok, I'm so sorry, but it's too long for me to put on YouTube shorts. But I saw this one right here with this funky like little cartoon Nike. But the thing that kind of sold me was the back. I think the back is so cool. And I have Nike Cortez that are this exact color orange. So 
I was like, okay, that'll be a cool little look. Throw these on with like, you know, some jeans and the Nike Cortez. If I'm trying to keep it casual, I could try to throw it on or style it up with some leather pants. Like there's just a couple different ways that I can think of just immediately that I would style that up. And then I came across this, which is a brand. I looked it up, it's called Reconstruct Studios, but they do like vintage tees and reconstruct them together. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is absolutely amazing. The middle piece is a Harley Davidson piece. And then it has these two other pieces on the side. And it actually has both tags, the Reconstruct to Studio tag and then the Harley Davidson tag. I just thought this was so cool. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm definitely taking that home. And um, I'm definitely gonna wear it a lot because I wear these kind of t-shirts a lot these days, so. And then the best piece of that trip, which when I saw it, I was like, there's absolutely no way. There's no way. They had two of these, but this one looked brand new. The other one, other one was a little more worn. It was a different colorway also, which wasn't really speaking to me. But when I saw this, I was like, yes. Absolutely, yes, especially these are trending right now. You guys know I've always picked these up, but <sighs> look at this. It's like a varsity jacket, UCLA. Love this color blue, blue and yellow. I don't have anything in this colorway and I was just like, it was $24.99, give it to me, I'm taking it home, yes. So last two pieces are what I found today, which you guys would have seen me try on in the video a little bit earlier, but I did go ahead and take home the cashmere like little crop sweater. It does have like a little tiny hole in the shoulder, but I'm not really caring because I got that thinking I'm gonna layer it under things where I want the collar to come out. And even then I would wear it by itself as like a crop sweater with like high waist jeans. Sorry, there's fur. And so I just thought it was really cool. I'm gonna take my lint shaver to it to see if I can clean it up a little bit and make sure that the condition is a little bit better. And then there's just certain pieces where I could easily take needle and thread and sew it up. And then the last piece I got was this Angora sweater right here. The colors are just amazing. And in my mind, I was thinking that I could layer it with this and put bike shorts underneath it. And I have these over the knee boots that you'll be seeing in like an upcoming little haul. It'll probably be a YouTube shorts haul because I don't wanna like really wait a whole week to film it. I think I'm gonna get them Monday, so we'll see. But if I get them sooner, I'll show you guys. But yeah, that is kind of like the thought process that I had when I got that. So that's everything that I've thrifted recently, three different thrift trips, and I'm actually really happy. Tinkerbell, stop it. She is like on her back clawing across the couch. I don't know what she is doing. Anyways. Um, I love everything that I got. Everything is like gonna seamlessly work into my wardrobe. And yeah, so those are the things. Let me know your favorite in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much, bye.